Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if the Windows Resource Protection could not start, the repair service error when you're trying to run the SFC scan tool or System File Integrity Scanner. So we're going to go through a couple of different methods that should hopefully be able to resolve the issue today. And we're going to start by opening up the Start menu and you want to type in Services. Best man should come back with Services. Might have to give it a second to load the menu here. Should be right above desktop app. Give it a moment to open up the service window here. Now we want to go down until we get to the Windows Modules installer. So you could sort it alphabetically in descending order, whichever you prefer. As you can tell, there's a lot of uh, Windows services here. But again, Windows Module Installer. So I'm going to double click on that. You want to make sure startup type is set to automatic here. If it's currently disabled, you want to set it to automatic and start the service. Then click on apply and OK to save the change. Now, if that does not resolve the issue, I would recommend restarting your computer and see if that has then resolved the issue. So then go ahead and run the system file integrity tool. Now, if that did not fix it after restarting your computer, if we open up the start menu again, type in CMD, open up a command prompt here. I'm going to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control window, you want to select yes. Now we're going to have a couple commands we're going to type in here. The first one I'm going to paste in. So if you go in the description of this video, just copy it and then go up to the top bar of this command prompt right here by right clicking on it. Left click on edit and then left click on paste. And then you just hit enter. So give it a second to run here. Should say service success or it should say change service config success. And once you've done that, I recommend pasting in the second command here. So just do paste. And it should say the service is starting and the service was started successfully. Go ahead now and try and run the SFC forward slash scan now utility. And hopefully it should work without issue. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.